Hello, are you new to our channel? If you are, I say, I say, I say, why don't you all subscribe to it and hit the notification bell? Just there. Just by, put your boob up. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need that much help. Yeah, there's loads going on on this channel, so uh, have a little look around and uh, subscribe. But meanwhile, you have a trailer for me. I have a trailer or two. Anyway, this is a trailer for a new film coming to Netflix called Fair Play. This stars uh, Phoebe Dynver, is that how you pronounce her surname? The daughter of the woman from Corrie? Oh, from Dinover. Bridgerton. Dinover. Is it Dinover? Dinover. I think so. Phoebe Dinover. It's two, two very difficult names, actually. Phoebe Dinover, 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 uh, who we'll know from Bridgerton, and Alden Ehrenreich. And you'll know Alden Ehrenreich from Solo. He's a cracking actor. He, I think he kind of got hit really hard by the lack of success and the failure of Solo. Do you remember how much we enjoyed that mm, film? Loved it. He's, he's a cracking actor. Anyway, so this is called Fair Play, and this is a sort of gender politics film set within the sort of go-get-them, dog-eat-dog world of Wall Street. This is essentially mm. a sort of romance, they're a power couple, but one is given a, a sort of, I think, a promotion, or one starts to get more success than the other, and it's how that infiltrates into the gender politics of their relationship, love affair, what have you. Um, and so I think, yeah. Loving the sound of this so Yeah, well. same here. I and mean, two brilliant actors. Absolutely, absolutely. And apparently their boss is played by, I think, Eddie Marson, who we bloody love. He's like one of those British actors who just brings such gritty heft to every role that he does. Um, and he talked, can I just say it, on Eddie Marson's behalf, he talked about the bullying he received when he was younger. I don't know if you saw mm. that he was. He posted something about it, saying, yeah. well, there you go. Go, go and check check me online and see see whether what happened, what you said was going to happen to me actually happened to yeah. me, because it didn't. Mm -hmm. He's a cracking actor. Um, so, yeah, so I think this will be really interesting. Fair play. Is it going to be all fair? Is it going to be fair games? Well, it's obviously going to have to all go horribly wrong, isn't it? It's going to be a bit sexy as well. So, here we go. How did I get so lucky? Are you talking about me? Or your job? Both. I love you so much. <laughs> I wish we could tell the whole world. But we're breaking company policy. We can't keep up. It's not you. Just tell me what's going on here. He's promoting me. Congratulations. How do you expect people to take you seriously when you dress like a cupcake? Excuse me? 25 million? What the fuck happened? You're pathetic. What'd you say to me? You're letting him walk all over you. You want me to say it again? The only man I let walk all over me is you. Are you getting married? You're getting married. You crossed the line. I'll fix it. You know it's just a game. You played very well. Boom. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, that looked great. I'll be watching that. She's a cracking young actress, because, I mean, that couldn't be further from the role of Bridgerton, could it, if it tried? And, and wow, ferocious, fierce, office romance. There's that whole thing, should you have an office romance or not these days, you know? Yeah, no, not. I think it looks... Um, I mean, we'll see... A little worry that it could tip into predictability. What do you mean, sort of irrational, crazy woman I don't, zone? I don't want it. To, no, more him actually. Oh. I don't want it to go too psycho. Too psycho. <clears throat> I, I prefer knives. to keep it in believability. Right. I'm looking Within, forward to Eddie Marsden. Because I, I love, I love watching relationships. I really love watching intense relationships, yes. and I don't want it to be lost and become a slasher movie. I know what you mean. It's never a good sign. I'm not saying that this isn't a good sign for this film, but I, I never. When you see the the point of a blade across the floor and it doesn't break, that's, it that's, gets a bit. That's mm. where I was like, no, don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. I'm hoping at its best it might be like that David Fincher movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I think you'd love it, Nads. Starring Michael Douglas. It came out in the 80s called The Game, in which Sean oh, yeah. Penn, his brother, buys him yeah, the game. Yeah, I watched it game. with you. Yeah. It's so. I mean, let's hope this is clever. Because she looks good, he looks good, and Eddie Marsden's always good. So, yeah, mm. you're right. No, yeah. well, I, I think it's going to be good, but just don't go slasher. 